And a quick reminder today to please take all litter to bins located by the entrance gates. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Well, hello and welcome one and all to what is a very special day on the English football scene. It's today Arsenal meet Manchester United, two giant institutions of the game that also happen to be amongst its most decorated. This is a fixture which has been globally recognised as one of the defining rivalries of recent years. Rivalry often personal between managers and players and down to the fact that both have so excelled. Every game akin to gladiatorial combat and decorated with wonderful attacking football, crunching physicality. Faces have come and gone and rivalry has entered into a new era, but there is one thing that never changes, and, now, and that is the fact that neither of these all. sides can bear the idea of losing to the other, and we that's on its own a factor sufficient to make this utterly unmissable. Real. The Emirates Stadium in all Number its glorious 35. modernity, this symbol Zinchenko. of new Arsenal, the Arsenal of the 21st century. Party. Well, this is a friendly, but a friendly only in name. Well, in games of this nature, as a player, Peter, you only want to work as hard as demanded. You don't want to have to go at it full pelt. But when the opposition is what it is, all of that kind of goes out the window. The challenge here will ask more of you, and so both teams will, will wish to, to give more than they take. It's one of those games, Peter, where if the opposition increase their effort, you have to follow it. This is Peter Drury, and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Thanks for that, Peter. Hi, everyone. The excitement has really picked up now, and I'm eager for the action to start. I've made a major appointment here. What's your take on it? Listen, this is all the ingredients of being a cracker. I just hope I haven't jinxed it by saying that. Hello, and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. A quick look at the lineups. Jesus! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Gabriel Jesus just had too many bodies around him. He would have done remarkably well to score from there. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a... Oh, he's gifted it to the opposition. And Gabriel Chase. Hits one! He scored! Listen, I've experienced that both for and against, and you won't have to guess which one I preferred. 
A momentary lapse exploited with glee. The goal scorer for Arsenal after 81 minutes is number nine, Gabriel Jesus. Manchester United making consecutive changes here. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very well. The scene is set. We are ready to go. A chance to play it in. Didn't give it away. Into the middle. Oh, it's off the bar. It's in! And that has stunned the fans into silence. They just cannot take it in. Well, he can produce a goal like that out of nothing. Marvellous right foot of shot. He was so alert to the possibilities there. Great stuff. Arsenal win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. Well, how will we look back on that? Arsenal made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know? It's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style, it's about pride, and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today. So, just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom Look, and to wish you all a very good evening. One more minute added on. Bruno Fernandes. And with that, the final whistle. Well, the shape and balance of the side didn't look right to me, and I feel the manager could have been more proactive in sorting things out. So just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening.